from the Sports Broadcasting Camp. This is Sports Broadcasting. I'm Eric, along with my partners, Zach and Cooper. For the third time in four years, the Golden State Warriors are NBA champions, defeating the Cleveland Cavaliers 108-85 to in Game 4 of the NBA Finals to complete the sweep. Steph Curry led all scores with 37 points, while teammate Kevin Durant took home Finals MVP for the second straight year. Following the game, LeBron James announced to the media he played the final three games of the series with a broken right hand after punching a blackboard in the Cavs' locker room following the team's Game 1 loss. More NBA news. While basketball fans focus on the best of the best on the court, the Philadelphia 76ers have an embarrassing off-the-court issue to deal with involving the club's general manager. In a scathing expose by the ringers.com, Brian Colangelo has been accused of maintaining fake Twitter accounts and using those accounts to criticize the team and its players. The Sixers say they are conducting an internal investigation. Now into hockey. The Washington Capitals. They defeated the Las Vegas Golden Knights 4-3 in Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Finals to clinch the Stanley Cup title for the first time in franchise history. Capitals star Alex Ovechkin was named playoff MVP after setting a franchise record with 15 postseason goals. This marks the first championship for the, nation, for the nation's capital since the Redskins defeated the Bills in the Super Bowl following the 1991 season. Now to football. The NFL has a new national anthem policy that requires players to stand if they are on the field during the anthem. However, they have been given the option to remain in the locker room if they prefer to do so. Commissioner Roger Goodell said the new policy was approved unanimously by the owners, but within hours of the announcement, several NFL owners claimed they were not supportive of the new rule. Breaking news in baseball. Major League Baseball suspended the Seattle Mariners second baseman Robinson Cano 80 games for violating the league's performance-enhancing drug policy. The suspension begins immediately for the eight-time All-Star who is currently on the disabled list with a broken hand. And finally, Manchester United-bound Fred has been injured while training with Brazil ahead of their World Cup warm-up game against Austria. 24-year-old required ice treatment and was forced to sit out the remainder of the session. That will wrap it up for Sports Broadcasting Center. For my partners, Eric and Cooper, I'm Zach. Have a good night.